Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the endodontic anatomy of the permanent maxillary second molar. So this is the mesiodistal outline of the permanent maxillary second molar. In the permanent maxillary second molar, the bulb points, they are well developed. Especially this pulp point, which is the mesiobuccal pulp point, it is more developed as compared to the distal pulp point. So this is the mesial pulp point. It is more prominent as compared to the distal buccal pulp point. This is a pulp canal in the mesiobuccal root. So in the mesiobuccal root, the mesiobuccal canal has a greater tendency of curvature in the apical third, as you can see now, while the distobuccal canal, this is the distobuccal canal, it is nearly straight. This is a pulp chamber and it is roughly, it is rectangular in shape. So uh, this is the palatal root and the palatal canal in the background. This is the largest root and the size of the canal, it is more also large. So this is the buccolingual outline of the permanent maxillary second molar. This is the mesiobuccal pulp point. So the pulp points, they are well developed. This is the mesiolingual pulp point. So the dimension of the pulp chamber is quite wide buccolingually. In the second molar, maxillary molar, the canal it is the canal it is usually single in the mesiobuccal root. But sometimes a second mesiobuccal canal or MB2 canal is also present in the maxillary second molar. This is the palatal canal. In the mid root section, this is the distal root, this is the mesiobuccal root, and this is the palatal root. So, in actual, they are very close to each other. In the distal root, the shape of the canal it is rounded, this is the palatal root. And this is the mesial root. The size of the canal is like the palatal root and it is oval in shape. So, in summary, uh, the maxillary second molar it usually has four pulp points that correspond to the cusps, uh, to the number of the cusps. There are three canals, one in the mesial root, mesiobuccal root, one in the distal root, and one in the palatal root. However, it is not uncommon to find a second MB2 canal or mesiobuccal 2 canal in the permanent second maxillary molar, like uh, the MB2 canal of the maxillary first molar. So I hope this lecture is useful for you. Please follow us on Instagram at Dental EDU Hub and don't forget to give us your feedback in the comments below. Again, thank you and stay blessed.